how do you all work together in making the deal happen? Bruce? You know, if you're looking for space, you should work with a real estate professional to help you find the right space for you. That's not part of my area of competence. Mm -hmm. How much space do you need? How long do you intend to be there? You know, what, what are your expectations as to growth? I mean, if you need, you say you need 5,000 square feet today, what do you think you're going to need three or five years from now? Mm -hmm. Because if you've got 5,000 square feet, but there's no room to expand, you don't want to enter into a 10-year lease mm -hmm. if you think that you're going to be growing. Now, you want to be in a two, you know, two or three-year lease with renewal options, which would enable you to make the decision a couple years down the road, I'm fine here for another couple years, or no, I need to move again or mm -hmm. go through the same uh, iterative process. Do I buy or build or lease the next time the, a, a move is required? Mm -hmm. uh, but I always advise my clients, you know, get your team together. Mm -hmm. you know, if you have an accountant, I want to talk to your accountant. Mm -hmm. you know, if you have a real estate uh, consultant that you're working with, a broker or other real estate professional, I, I want to speak to that person. Are you going to need financing? Even if you're leasing, you might need financing because you've got to pay for the, the relocation. You've got to pay for, sometimes you, as the tenant, you have to pay for your own fit out. Mm -hmm. um, and if obviously, if you're buying land and building or you're buying an existing building, you're going to need financing for that. Mm -hmm. you know, have you spoken to your relationship manager at your bank? Mm -hmm. um, do you have a relationship manager at your bank? Or are you just you know, running a checking account? And, and that's the only interaction you have. Okay. That, well, if that's the only interaction you have, you need to start talking to people before you make your decision and, and get all of the team together. Uh, you may need, if you're going to be either fitting out a space or, or uh, you know, refitting an existing building or uh, designing a building, you're going to need an architect. You're going to need construction mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You need to get all of these people together not necessarily together in a room, but you need to have um, started conversations with these people and getting input from them mm -hmm. to make your decision. I mean, I can help make that decision, but it requires a lot of information that is not legal. You know, okay. So yeah. I, I always recommend to get, you know, get, get all of your um, advisors in line and working with you, and then you make the decision as to where, where you go next.